How's it going everybody? This is Double Wide 6 and I have a mower that I got for free. So it's a Craftsman with a Tecumseh engine and I have no idea what's wrong with it or if it even works so we're just going to quick take a look at it. So first thing I'm going to do is see if we have like a bent crank or anything. Oh my god. See that blade? <laughs> that that's not a good sign so we're gonna need a blade for it it's pretty uh, bent right there and I already have the uh, spark plug unplugged man when you see something like that uh, you might have a, a bent crankshaft although looking at the blade spinning around it seems to be pretty straight from what I can tell so that's a good sign all right well next thing we're gonna do is pull the plug so I'm gonna look at the uh, fuel now, there's a little bit of fuel in there not much but enough that it'll start it's old fuel Side discharge. I guess this thing's a, a mulcher, so that would go on there. Make sure it has oil in it before I pull on it. Yeah, there's plenty of oil and a bent dipstick. So I'll put a new dipstick on it. And uh, I'm going to pull the plug. Well, at least it wasn't too tight. Sometimes I can't even get the plugs off. People over tighten them oh that looks really bad it's all carbon so it's it's probably burning oil pretty bad hopefully you can see that that looks pretty terrible so I've elected to put in a, a plug that works so I'm just switching out the plug with one I have here and this is actually gasoline put a shot right in there that should help prime it and that'll tell us if we have spark if this thing tries to start up yeah I'm not too fond about getting a, a mower right now because I gotta store it it's just about Christmas here but I'm off work right now so it's giving me something to do alright I'm gonna try and give this thing a cold start and just see what happens there might be a sure flywheel key with the way that blade was bent so if the cord rips out of my hand that's what it is know it has spark so we'll give it another shot of fuel see if we can't get it going a little longer So I guess I'll try the primer a couple times, try and draw a little fuel through it, see if that helps. Seems like it wants to go, but it's not getting the fuel. Let's try that again. It says five times.
nothing. So I tried pulling it some more. I I uh, wasn't able to get it to start, so I'm just clamping off the fuel line. And I'm gonna pull the uh, the bowl off the carburetor, and we'll see what this looks like. Oh, there's fuel in there, so that's a good sign. Yeah, here's the bowl nut. That looks pretty rough. And if we look inside the bowl, I don't see any water in here, but you can see it's it's definitely a brown, nasty color. So I'm going to go through and, and clean this up a little bit. So my plan here is to try and fix this thing without taking off the whole carb. I'm going to unclamp the fuel line for a second here and I'm, I'm just testing that the needle and seat works. So when this comes down you should have fuel coming out and when it goes up it should shut it off. And that seems to be working well. So that's a good sign. If I had a problem there then I'd have to pull the carburetor completely off. So we'll just clamp that back up. I'm going to take a little carb cleaner, it's actually brake cleaner, and I'm just going to spray in here a little bit and up the uh, main nozzle of this carburetor just to clean it out a little bit and the rest we're going to focus on the bowl and the bowl nut so here's a look at the bowl in here you can see varnished gas so I'll just pour out the old gas I don't see any water in there water kind of floats or separates from that gas like oil and vinegar so just going to clean the bowl pretty quick. I usually like to use my drill and a brush, just like this. Should be good, and I'll hand clean that with a rag. So there's a look at the bowl, looking good. Next thing that we want to look at is our bowl nut, and this is real dirty. So I'm going to spray this off and clean it as well. I don't know if you could see it, but the inside of this is like filled up with almost like a black pitch or tar inside there. And that's that's pretty much why this engine wasn't getting fuel when I was trying to start it and prime it. This thing's in such bad shape, I have it in the vise, and I'm just going to lightly brush the outside to take care of that. And I'm going to have to clean this like pitch and tar out of the inside. So right now I just have a screwdriver and I'm just trying to loosen it up. And you can look at that screwdriver and determine how much dirt is really in there. So here's our bowl nut. And uh, we're just going to clean out these holes with the wire. Wiggle that. And I feel like I've been making several videos kind of showing the same thing. There's a hole up here you want to clean, little guy. And then you want to make sure that you go down through the middle. But, I don't know, I guess you just kind of have to do the same thing in order to fix a lot of lawnmowers and snowblowers when you're doing carburetor work. So, sorry about it being a little redundant. So anyhow, that's good to go. We're going to put the bowl back on. So we're just going to line up the bowl. You always want to push real hard to seat it on that gasket. That'll center it up so that you can get your bowl nut lined up. We're just going to snug this up and hit it with the wrench and try and start it. One other thing, I have this thing up on the table. In here there's a, a hidden little jet down in here. So I'm going to pull off this cap which I'm going to just pick at with a, a pick till I get it out of there and you want to try not to lose it because we're going to put that back in uh, as soon as we get it out. There we go. And let me get a screwdriver. We'll pull that out. There's a small jet in there. 
So it's just a little brass flathead uh, needle in here. So we'll pull this out and we'll just give that a cleaning. There's holes through here. If we look closely, you can see that there's some holes there. I'm going to run a wire through that hole and through the middle of it as well, being careful not to widen it. So the, the center hole on this little needle is so small, I had to actually take a little wire from a wire brush. It's a lot smaller than the other wire. And I'm just holding it with some locking pliers cleaning that out real good and I'll blow it out with compressed air and put it back alright take two I'm gonna try and start this again Smoking. 